So here we have my late 2008 MacBook, and it is a fantastic laptop. Pretty much every application you throw at it, it still runs. Considering how old it is, and it is only a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, um, it works fantastically well. But I was wondering whether or not you could put more memory in it. Now, according to Apple, you can only put four gigabytes of memory in this particular laptop. And on forums, there's a lot of mixed opinions about this machine and how much memory you can actually install inside it. So I looked into it a bit further. Now on this one website, it did actually say that as long as you are running a certain firmware, you can go up to the full eight gig. Now, as long as you are running a boot ROM of MB51, dot zero zero seven d dot b o three i'll put that in the description below um, you can actually go up to full eight gig so i thought let's try it see what happens so this video i'm basically going to take the macbook apart get the memory modules out reinstall the memory modules and then see if it works and then we'll go from there so let's get on with it so first of all you're going to want to make sure that the laptop is off. Okay, once the laptop's off, simply turn it over and then you want to start by removing the battery. Obviously you don't need to remove the hard drive because we're not going to uh, be doing anything with that. Next, you want to carefully remove the screws from the metal casing. And obviously, keep them safe. Bit of a good point there, because otherwise you end up losing screws. And there's nothing worse than losing screws. Okay. So now we've removed the screws from the main base plate, all we need to do is carefully pry the metal plate off the back of the MacBook. And so now we can see our memory modules. So what we need to do now is carefully pry these two bits of plastic and the first memory module will be released. Carefully remove the module and then again with the other side, this is a little bit more tricky. Okay. Obviously you want to be really careful when you're removing memory modules. That you don't want to break anything when you're removing them. There are two tiny pieces of plastic which uh, go over the edges of the module. There you go. And now remove it. And then we've removed our two two gigabyte modules. So here they are. Two nice brand new four gigabyte memory modules. But will they work is the question. So Installing the first memory module has to go in at quite a sharp angle until you feel it go in and then you push it down until you go. You don't have to push it down with much force. Um, in fact, I wouldn't even recommend pushing it down with much force because you really don't want to break anything. Okay, and now the second memory module. In at an angle like that. Push it down. Now these ones are a little bit stiffer, so you want to be very careful when you're installing these. Um, it does feel a bit um, nasty when you're doing it. It does feel like you're going to break something. So always make sure that the clips are in. There's two little clips either side here that actually come over the chip to hold it in place. You want to make sure that they are not moving. Um, there's no play in there and that they're in properly. So what we're going to do now is just literally pop the back casing on roughly like this. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm doing that, not putting it back together, is obviously we don't know if they're going to work yet. So um, what we need to do is just put it all back together. Pop 
this cover back on. Like so. Flip it around, making sure not to move the bottom casing because obviously it's not on properly. Hit the power button and hope that we get no bleeps. Now, go to about this Mac, eight gigabytes installed. So it's registered. So we, we can see here that it has actually registered eight gigabyte. Go to system report and go to memory. And then you can look at uh, this information here so that we can see here that we've got four gigabyte DDR3 in one bank and another four gigabyte DDR3 in the other. And then you look here at the information, four gigabyte, speed 1067, DDR3, status okay status okay so there you go proof that this 2.4 gigahertz um, late 2008 macbook here's the information here of the macbook um, proof there that uh, you can indeed put two four gigabyte sticks to give you eight gigabyte of memory in this um, rather old laptop and of course don't forget to put your screws back in of course, as always, any questions, any comments, um, any guides that you want me to make in the future, just let me know um, by posting in the comments below. So thank you all for watching and I hope that it's been useful.